Good morning, YouTube. Kavan's uh, Home Garden Part 2. Um, today is July the 8th. It's a Sunday here in uh, the Atlanta area. Let's start off with our watermelons to see the progress from the 22nd of June it was uh, to July the 7th, which is, I'm sorry, the 8th, which is today. These are the watermelons. As you can see, let's start off with this guy here. Looks like I got a hybrid here. I don't know what this is. This was supposed to be a sugar baby watermelon, but I guess it crossed with probably a zucchini or a cucumber or something, and I got some new hybrid something growing. That's the uh, earth pot that I built. It's nice and healthy. Melons everywhere. Here's another one here. Let me get out of the shadow. Shoot it this way. There's a melon there. There's some more here. There you can see one, two, three. That's a big one there. Another one there. In the actual earth pot, there's another one there. There's one of those other weird hybrids again that crossed with something. I'm not sure what that is, but it's going to be interesting. Like I said, this is the earth pot that I built. It's in interesting I've been watching videos on YouTube and reading up on things and I've been finding that you know these earth pots are really really sustainable they're great for the heat and my melons are doing fantastic so as a first-time grower of mortar melons this is my uh, other plant here my pepper plant we harvested a bunch of those um, here's another melon here here's that other one as a first time grower, I'm seeing that an earth pot for watermelons seems to be the way to go. So, next year I'll do it again, bigger scale. These are the sunburst squash that I transplanted um, from the seed, moved them over, and they're doing real well in this earth pot. And I'll show you the other batch of them that um, were a seed and they grew together. In fact, let's scroll over here real quick. This is where they started as seed in this pot. And you can see that the ones that are, these are the same exact seeds, same exact uh, plant, but the earth pot just made it just take off. I mean, same date, same seed, same everything. Awesome. Let's swing over here a little bit. Here is my yellow neck squash, crook neck, I guess they call it. We've already harvested one nice one already, and they're doing real well. This is another one, crook neck. They're coming in real nice. I'll get you a close-up. See all those pretty little ones coming up there. A bunch of males about to pollinate those. And this was the zucchini plant that got hit by the ball worm that I, that I moved from the big garden. And look at that. It's doing fantastic. As you can see, there's another zucchini right back there. All right. Let's go over to the corn. We talked about this before. Those were planted... Um, maybe less than a month now and let me give you a scale so you can get an idea there's my little scarecrow give you an idea of how big that's gotten in a very short space of time here's a disappointment my uh cucumbers i started reading up on this and it's too late for me to read up now because they're already halfway dead they'll come back eventually when the weather gets a little warmer because I'm cooler because it's really 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 hot here in um, in Georgia right now let's move over to the aubergines which are the eggplant and you see those guys are coming in wonderfully look at that eggplant there big beautiful eggplant hope you can see that and they're budding everywhere I mean flowers are coming everywhere we got eggplants just an abundance is about to happen there's another one down there. I hope you can see it right there. There's uh, another zucchini. Whoa, look at those guys. Time to harvest those. That's the same plant that got hit with the boar worm. <laughs> That's still producing a ton. And there's the damage from the boar worm. And it is still doing great. So like I said before, I'll leave it alone. i it come back. This guy right here, he's not doing great. He's, he's popping some zucchinis got one back in the back here there's another one that's a weird zucchini growing under the under the thing there one in the back uh, there's that salad that jumped from last year beautiful I'll cut some of those today Sun will burn them if I don't there's the aromas we picked a bunch I probably picked about a dozen or so aromas already 
looking real good. There's the transplant of the uh, cucumber that jumped last year and it crossed with the, there it is, cucumber. And there's another one back there. Let's see that vine there, cucumber going up. And again, this is my first year gardening, so I'm really happy about the outcome. These are just going crazy again. Flowers are coming in. I've harvested these three or four times already for the week. And they're just everywhere. Look at this jumbo guy here. I need to cut him down because he's about done. Take him inside. I cut down a bunch of my, uh, harvested a bunch of my collard greens. What I could salvage from it because there's an insect just beating them up. There's the basil, healthy basil. There's another angle of the zucchinis. I don't know if you can see that. And the row of collard greens again. And these okra. These okras are coming in so nice. We harvested about 14 or 15 of them the other night. There's one right there. Uh, another one there. I'm going to cut them. I don't want them to get too big because they get real, real uh, fibrous. All right. And uh, back over here again. The tomato that I did from scratch, I mean from seed, that's coming in nicely too. The tomato. If you can see that there it is there a little tomato and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been using this stuff here azimite it's a rock dust and this is the kind you just put with water you know a tablespoon per gallon two, uh, two and a half tablespoons per gallon and it's doing real well so that's the update not even a full month yet Kavan's home garden uh, part two and we've been eating I'm real proud about this garden. I'm really happy. And uh, next video we'll show you should be when it's time to eat those melons. And that's it, YouTube. Take care.